The ever-increasing data demand, massive number of users, and the growth towards billions of connections from sensors and other Internet of Things devices are driving the use of unlicensed spectrum. But today's technologies and products do not cover all the use cases like seamless connectivity and quality of service for the standalone applications. Therefore, Multifire is designed to meet these requirements of these additional use cases in the unlicensed spectrum in, for example, enterprises, mining, stadiums and airports. Today, we will show you the first Multifire live demo, showing its coverage benefits and also its coexistence with Wi-Fi. We're here in the Arlington Heights lab where we have set up a Multifire and Wi-Fi network in the same 5 gigahertz frequency. We'll do this demonstration in three different parts. First, I will turn on Multifire and start the traffic. And you will see both in the downlink as well as the uplink traffic over Multifire. Secondly, I will turn on Wi-Fi without coexistence and you will see a decrease in Wi-Fi throughput. Now I will turn on coexistence and you will see an increase in Wi-Fi throughput. Therefore, you can see that Multifire does coexist with Wi-Fi. Thirdly, we will move the Wi-Fi and Multifire users away from the cell center and you can see that multi-fire coverage is better than Wi-Fi. I hope you enjoyed Nokia's multi-fire demo, which showed Wi-Fi coexistence and the enhanced coverage. And we invite you to meet us in Barcelona at the Mobile World Congress 2016 to see our live demos and discuss these exciting developments in our industry. Thank you for watching.